What is good guys, Matt from Jolly Gaming here giving you another video and my PS just went off. Uh, basically, today's video is a little discussion on my little experience in changing the PlayStation 4 hard drive. And now just a quick little update for this, the rest of the week. I think I'm actually doing the entire week because Theresa's internet is dead and he's got work to do anyway. So you may actually, all of you that love hearing me, will hear me every single day except Thursday this week hopefully. And hopefully they won't be as late as they usually are from me. But anyway, let's get into it. So, I changed my um, PlayStation 4 hard drive because if you've used the hard drive, it's a very slow hard drive and 500 gigabytes. if you want any more than about 8 games and DLC, it's just, it will not cut it. And I also, I wanted to like cut down on loading time, so I went for the 1 terabyte Seagate hard, uh, SSHD hard drive, it's a hybrid drive. Um, I'll link in the description, I paid about £70 uh, UK for it. and. The installation wasn't hard at all. Now, if you're going to install a hard drive into the PlayStation, I'm going to just kind of give you a rough overview of what to do. I haven't recorded any video of it, so I'm sorry because I kind of didn't think about it. It is really simple. You literally just take off the gloss um, or matte cover on it where the hard drive is on the left side. Yeah, on the left side, depending on if you're looking at the PlayStation frontwards. Just slide it off. There's a little screw you just unscrew. Slide the hard drive out, unscrew the things, and then you can just stick whatever hard drive you want and screw it back in slot the hard drive back in and put the cover on. Now when I was doing this I was watching an IGN video and they actually missed out one very important thing. This is a Greg Miller thing and it just proves how stupid he was and thank god he left IGN. Um, he just went, you can just go on Google and search PS4 hardware. No, that's not what you can do. What you actually have to do is go on the, hard, the PlayStation page and scroll down to replacing hard drive or something like that and you basically it gives you the instructions to change um, a hard drive because he says you just need to put the firmware on it which is 200 meg which is not actually the case you need to do the 800 megabyte one which kind of caused me a few issues because I was like oh fuck the hard drive's fucked or whatever you know but I did that as soon as I like realized that on a Sony site plugged it in just did the, in, the um, thing and it was easy as hell to do it was just so it was just so easy it was probably one of the easiest things you can do like you don't like I'm not really good with tech and that was easy and then you just install all your games which admittedly did take a while so I recommend installing all of them and then if your internet connection is good enough just literally put it on rest mode and just leaving it for the night because that's the only way really and then what I found out after is if you want to keep the PS4 hard drive the one you got the um, 5400 RPM 500 gig or maybe you're going for a 2 terabyte so you're replacing on one, uh, 1 terabyte or whatever the case may be you can actually get a very cheap enclosure off Amazon for about eight pounds. I don't know how, maybe it's about twelve dollars uh, US, and you can get an enclosure and literally just wipe the hard drive and use that as an external hard drive, which I will be doing. So that was just kind of my short experience in changing the PS4 hard drive. I'd really recommend looking it up on the PSN store. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the channel for more updates and gaming news and let's plays and all the like. I like the video if you liked it. This was just a really brief overview of my little experience. Also, just in closing notes, the SSHD is probably the best one you can get as the SSD is too expensive for the same amount of like memory. And the 54s are just really slow. So either a 7, uh, 7200 or an SSHD will do quite well. In my experience, a lot of loading times have been cut. Anyway guys, like the video if you liked it, uh, dislike it if you, for whatever reason, uh, subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out, uh, check out Facebook, check out Instagram for daily and monthly updates, and as I always say guys, have a nice day.